In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, as we once again gather in the presence of the Lord, let us thank the Lord for the gift of this day. Let us thank Him for giving us this time to spend with Him, to be in His presence. Let us thank Him for all the insights that He will give us, for all the graces that He will give us today. And therefore, as we begin today's prayer, let us begin with this attitude of gratitude, thanking the Lord for everything and most importantly, asking the Lord to always be with us at every step of the way. And now let us close our eyes at this moment and let us praise the Lord first and foremost for giving us this new day, a day that will help us to accomplish certain things, a day that will help us to make a difference in the lives of others or a day that will be like any other routine day. And whatever we do today, let us ask the Lord to be with us, to accompany us, so that through our words, through our actions, we may be able to radiate His love, peace and mercy. Let us also thank the Lord, for He has given us good health. He has woken us up this morning. He has given us a new day. He has protected us all through the night. And Lord, we thank you for keeping us safe and sound for all that you have done for us. You have kept us in your love. At every moment, your gaze is on us, O oh Lord. And therefore, Lord, you never allow anything evil to happen to us because you are always protecting us and guiding us in whatever we do. And for this, Lord, we want to thank you. We want to praise you and we want to glorify you because you have been someone who has always been there to guide us, who's always been there to accompany us at every step of the way. For your love, for your blessings, for your graces, we praise you, O Lord. Lord, we thank you, we praise you, and we glorify you for everything that you will do for us today. We offer this day to you so that every step of today's actions that we may take may be firmly rooted in your love, mercy, and peace. And my dear friends, let this day be a day of joy and blessings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And let us begin by reflecting on Psalm 26. Let us read the psalm, let us meditate and try to see what we can take for ourselves from this Psalm 26. The psalm goes like this. Vindicate me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity and I have trusted in the Lord without wavering. Prove me, O Lord, and try me. Test my heart and mind. For your steadfast love is before my eyes and I walk in faithfulness to you. All this can happen only when Jesus is at the center of our lives. When we make him the center of our lives, we see that automatically all our activities derive from him and they reflect through him. In other words, we get the grace from Jesus and this grace enables us to then move out into the world and make a difference in the lives of others. And therefore, if he is the center of our lives, everything is taken care of. The psalm continues, I do not sit with the worthless, nor do I consort with hypocrites. I hate the company of evildoers and will not sit with the wicked. Only when our relationship with the Lord is strong, only when we are rooted in His love, only when we take our prayer life seriously, we see that we will be able to distinguish between what is good and what is bad. This discernment 
is very important because it will prevent us from making wrong choices in life. And therefore, once we are firmly rooted in the love of God, it will become easy for us to know what to do and what not to do. The psalm continues, I wash my hands in innocence and go around your altar, O Lord, singing aloud a song of thanksgiving and telling all your wondrous deeds. And this happens when truly one is grateful to the Lord for everything. When we reflect on our lives, when we look at those small instances where the Lord has touched us, where the Lord has been an inspiring source, where the Lord has protected us, just look at those incidents in your lives. And there you will see the presence of the Lord. There you will see the guiding hand of the Lord. And for this reason, you will be filled with awe, you will be filled with gratitude. As you reflect and meditate on this psalm, try to recall some moments in your lives, some important moments wherein the Lord has always been there to help you, to guide you and protect you. The psalm continues, O Lord, I love the house in which you dwell and the place where your glory abides. Do not sweep me away with sinners, nor my life with the bloodthirsty, those in whose hands are evil devices and whose right hand are full of bribes. And here we see that we need to be cautious of everything that happens in today's world. There are people who may deceive us. There are people who may lead us astray. We should not be led astray by them. And that is why we see that the psalm tells us, be rooted in the love of God and he will take care of everything. And the psalm concludes by saying, But as for me, I walk in my integrity. Redeem me and be gracious to me. My foot stands on level ground. In the great congregation, I will bless the Lord. And therefore, one who is completely devoted to the Lord, one who has dedicated his life to the Lord, will be able to see the graces and the blessings of the Lord at every moment of his life. And as we reflect and meditate on today's psalm, let us now spend a few moments in silence, thanking the Lord for all that he has done. Recall all those moments wherein the Lord has saved you, all those moments where the Lord has accompanied you. And thank the Lord. Show Him the gratitude that is there in your heart. So that whatever you do today may radiate His love, peace and joy to the world. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union 
with the holy sacrifice of the mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins for the intentions of all my relatives and friends and in particular for the intentions of the holy father amen here are the intentions of the holy father for the month of december volunteer not for profit organizations we pray that volunteer non profit organizations committed to human development find people dedicated to the common good and ceaselessly seek out new paths to international cooperation our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen the act of contrition o oh my god i am heartily sorry for having offended thee and i detest all my sins because of thy just punishments but most of all because they offend thee my god who art all good and deserving of all my love i firmly resolve with the help of thy grace to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin amen pray to the holy spirit come holy spirit fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you will renew the face of the earth lord by the light of the holy spirit you have taught the hearts of your faithful in the same spirit help us to relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation we ask this through christ our lord amen pray for priests gracious and loving god we thank you for the gift of our priests through them we experience your presence in the sacraments help our priests to be strong in their vocation set their souls on fire with love for your people grant them the wisdom understanding and strength they need to follow in the footsteps of jesus inspire them with the vision of your kingdom give them the words they need to spread the gospel allow them to experience joy in their ministry help them to become instruments of your divine grace we ask this through jesus christ who lives and reigns as our eternal priest amen 
the breastplate of Saint Patrick. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through a belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the Creator of creation. Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me, Christ in the eye that sees me, Christ in the ear that hears me. Amen. The Angelus, the angel of the Lord declared to Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth we beseech Thee, O Lord, Thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ Thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by His passion and cross be brought to the glory of His resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for St. Joseph's Protection O St. Joseph, whose protection is so great, so prompt, so strong, before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. O St. Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your Divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that, having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, 
pray for me. Amen. Prayer of Thanksgiving God of all blessings, source of all life, giver of all grace, we thank you for the gift of life, for the breath that sustains life, for the food of this earth that nurtures life, for the love of family and friends without which there would be no life. We thank you for the mystery of creation, for the beauty that the eye can see, for the joy that the ear may hear, for the unknown that we cannot behold filling the universe with wonder, for the expanse of space that draws us beyond the definitions of ourselves. We thank you for setting us in communities, for families who nurture our becoming, for friends who love us by choice, for companions at work who share our burdens and daily tasks, for strangers who welcome us into their midst, for people from other lands who call us to grow in understanding, for children who lighten our moments with delight, for the unborn who offer us hope for the future. We thank you for this day, for life, and one more day to love, for opportunity, and one more day to work for justice and peace, for neighbors, and one more person to love, and by whom be loved, for your grace, and one more experience of your presence. For your promise to be with us, to be our God, and to give salvation. For these and all blessings, we give you thanks, eternal loving God. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Prayer to the Garden Angel Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, rule and guide. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, 
and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Litany to Mary, the Loreto Litany Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Mercy, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother of Hope, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Mother Admirable, pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Saviour, pray for us. Virgin Most Prudent, pray for us. Virgin Most Venerable, pray for us. Virgin Most Renowned, pray for us. Virgin Most Powerful, pray for us. Virgin Most Merciful, pray for us. Virgin Most Faithful, pray for us. Mirror of Justice, pray for us. Seat of Wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our Joy, pray for us. Spiritual Vessel, pray for us. Vessel of Honor, pray for us. Singular Vessel of Devotion, pray for us. Mystical Rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of Ivory, pray for us. House of Gold, pray for us. Ark of the Covenant, pray for us. Gate of Heaven, pray for us. Morning Star, pray for us. Health of the Sick, pray for us. Refuge of Sinners, pray for us. Solace of Migrants, pray for us. Comfort of the Afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. For us, Queen of Angels, pray for us, Queen of Patriarchs, pray for us, Queen of Prophets, pray for us, Queen of Apostles, pray for us, Queen of Martyrs, pray for us, Queen of Confessors, pray for us, Queen of Virgins, Pray for us. Queen of all saints, pray for us. Queen conceived 
without original sin pray for us queen assumed into heaven pray for us queen of the most holy rosary pray for us queen of families pray for us queen of peace pray for us lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world spare us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world graciously hear us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray grant we beseech thee o lord god that we your servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body and by the glorious intercession of the blessed mary ever virgin may be delivered from present sorrow and obtain eternal joy through christ our lord amen pray to saint michael the archangel for protection saint michael the archangel defend us in battle be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and do thou o prince of the heavenly hosts by the power of god thrust into hell satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls amen act of adoration o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine saint gertrude pray for souls in purgatory eternal father i offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son jesus in union with the masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory for sinners everywhere for sinners in the universal church those in my own home and within my family amen may the divine assistance remain always with us and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen